From the authoritative voice of inshore saltwater fishing, it's Shallow Water Angler. Here's David Conway. Welcome to Shallow Water Angler TV. We're here in Old Home Asasa and McCray's Bait Shop, where local knowledge says it's smart to fish the creeks. Old Florida comes to mind in Home Asasa. McCray's Bait Store and Ivana's house both just ooze charm and grace. It's a rustic setting filled with good, solid, friendly people. Captain William Tony is a fourth generation waterman. While there is not as much commercial fishing as in the old days, business is still booming. The key to that success is the great recreational fishing, mainly redfish and trout, and the Nature Coast's big ticket, scalloping. William calls it Homosassa's bread and butter. The reason why fishing is really good here is that three natural spring creeks flow from inland out to the Gulf, keeping the Gulf water warm in the winter and cool in the summer. A wonderful estuary and a home for a lot of reds. Yeah, Dave, we were talking a little bit about how the uh, springs up in the Homosass and Crystal mm -hmm. River kind of keep a steady water temperature of 72 degrees. Perfect. And in the wintertime, that attracts a lot of fish because our Gulf water temperature will drop sometimes into the mid-50s during right. the cooler months in January and February, and it pushes a lot of fish up into the river. So you can still fish even on a frosty morning, and fish are toasty warm up in that 72-degree water. And right now, our Gulf water is about 85 degrees, and we got this incoming tide. So it kind of cools it down and mm -hmm. gets that water moving and kind of gets the bite going. Nice. What, what's the favorite temperature, do you think, for redfish? What's their favorite comfort zone? I, I think redfish are, can tolerate heat pretty well, but it seems anywhere from 76 to about 80 is, is mm -hmm. a prime range. Our trout, they seem to prefer the water to be a little cooler. We do better when the water temperature is from 68 to about 74 on a trout. Right, you get some big trout up here. Yeah, absolutely. We've caught a lot this past fall. We've had a few fish over 25 inches, which is great for our area because it, along uh, 10, 10, 12 years ago, a large trout here was 18 inches. Wow. So they're wow. really getting up in size. That's great. And now 18 inches is just a common trout. Anything over 20 is good. Those 25 inches are, are getting more plentiful. Sometimes when you hook up a redfish, do you get the uh, followers with them around here? You have a fish on. Yeah. Yeah, you sure will. I think we got a red on now. Yeah. Look at that, man. They're still there. <laughs> He's a little bigger than the first one. A little bit. The red fishing was so good, I even jumped behind the lens and let my cameraman Matt do a little fishing. Matt may be a better fisherman than I am cameraman because he got a hit on his very first cast. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fish! All right. Uh, it may be, it, it may be a uh, mangrove snapper too. There's there. Yeah. How's Matt's red fish? Nice. Tiny. A young red fish is a good red fish. These are homosassa rat reds. Nice. I could have done this all day, but it was time for the second half of our doubleheader, scalloping. Okay, some essential parts are definitely a mass snorkel and fins. Oh yeah. And the fins that help move you around, there is some current. 
and it's a lot easier to hover on top of the water. And while you're out there, what you're going to look for is a scallop, and it'll be slightly open with a row of blue eyes. I call it kind of the underwater Easter egg hunt. Nice. And usually if you find one, there's a few around it. And other essential things you need are also a dive flag. Okay. And you also need a saltwater fishing license. And the limit is two gallons per person or 10 gallons per vessel. And that, that is and that is the important thing is don't exceed your limit. Absolutely. And don't be greedy. If, you, yeah. if you're not going to eat them all, why don't get them? Yep. But uh, something that you need to look out for too, we do have occasional jellyfish. Okay. And they're not like a man of war where you're going to writhe in pain. It's more like an irritation or an itch and something you can keep on board to, to take care of that system plain ammonia that you could buy at any grocery store. And something I always uh, tell, tell my clients or people that go with me, always snorkel into the current. No, that idea. way when you get tired, the current can bring you back to the boat and, and instead of swimming with the current a long distance away, then you have to swim back harder. So swim into that when you feel like you've gone far enough, then come back with the current. For the best results, get your scallops right on ice. To clean scallops, take a custom spoon with a sharpened edge and pry them open. Separate the meat from the muscle. Scrape it, reach back to pull it up, and grab with a thumb and spoon. Pull back gently, leaving nothing but the meat. Scrape them off and enjoy. Saute those scallops in a little white wine and butter. Grill, or any way you want to cook, one of those keeper reds, and you have a gourmet meal from the creeks of Homosassa that a restaurant anywhere in the world would be proud to serve.